My name is Natasha. I'm currently working for Hyrax Biosciences. It is a startup that came from the University of the Western Cape. Hi, Peter. Um, and we were originally working on HIV research. And what happened was that it was during the time that the government um, encouraged people to um, uh, uh, patent before publishing. So they wanted to generate some, some um, revenue from the publicly funded money going into universities. So we were in a very fortunate position for many reasons. Uh, we were a very um, tight knit group working together. Um, and it was at the right time, at the right, we were right place at the right time to, to do HIV research. Similar to people doing viral research at the moment during this year. So instead of walking you through my specific career path, uh, because after my PhD, I went into law for a year and I also worked in industry at Roche for a year before going back and doing a postdoc. Um, what I wanted to do, given this um, interesting and quite strange year, was to look at everything that is similar. So the things that are universal to, to my career path. And I kind of like thinking about it um, as this infinity or the circle so it doesn't matter how much you diverge, you kind of come back to the same points again. And I've found this very useful this year to look back and um, think about the things that are, have been universal in life. And if I'm still moving towards um, that goal uh, in, in a career. So in, it doesn't matter what career move you make, whether you're still working in towards this, um, this the same direction. So for me, these things are curiosity. So. Uh, throughout, whether it's an academia or a startup, uh, very intrinsically driven by curiosity. And this is asking the question, and then, so what comes next? So this has been universal, whether that's it's at a startup or um, in academia. The second thing is learning. Um, and learning is slightly different to curiosity because in the startup specifically, they can be learning um, in things as wide as company structuring, in terms of hiring new people, which is, is, is somewhat similar to um, academia where you are managing people. Um, so, so learning uh, for me is specifically also during the times when you feel like you are not um, gaining knowledge necessarily, doing the same thing every day. If you look very clearly, you are always learning. And you, if you define it for yourself, then you will feel that you're moving forward um, uh, in, in wh whatever you're doing. And then the next thing is collaboration. And this is uh, something that Malvika touched on and it's, it's something that, um, that, that I really enjoy. And whether that's in academia, trying to work with different research groups or within the startup specifically where we're such a close knit team and we work together on a daily basis and we want to share our work and build a successful company. So collaboration is a really strong one. And, and these are the things that are similar between academia um, and, and, and startups. And then the last one is a positive impact. And with a positive impact, um, this can be from teaching. So when you see students have it, that that's aha moment, um, up to users um, of, of a software, of your software, where they can um, now produce a result for a drug resistance um, result for a patient uh, that they couldn't do before. So, so, and, and also this, so these things are the things that I've found that are very similar between academia um, and the startup, um, where people often try and um, define the differences and try and say that one is better than the other. Like I've preferred looking back and going um, and looking at the things that are, that are universal for me and, and defining that as the path that I've been following. And I hope that I can keep doing that moving forward. Um, I, it's always um, interesting to, to provide career guidance when I still feel like I'm on the journey myself. But based on that, um, this image is a little bit more Escher-like. So even though I've spoken about the spiral and that you keep get, getting back to the same kind of uh, universal theme, it's also, you're, you're allowed to acknowledge that you can change themes and that you can jump between these staircases from time to time. Um, and for me, I have recently moved to, with, with the COVID pandemic, our company has gone um, completely distributed. Um, and therefore I have moved to Amsterdam 
So, so things have changed for me quite a bit, but in terms of moving to a new country, those themes um, remain the same. The curiosity, the learning about new cultures, um, you know, collaborating and making new connections and then having a positive impact in everything that I do.